Um, you know, the thing is, is that Styles make fights. Everybody want, why does everybody want to see me and Loma? And Loma doesn't want to see the fights because he's like, who has he fought and everything like that. But why do you guys want to see the fights? Because Styles makes fights. So they see a person that's explosive, young, hungry, everything. People think Loma is still there in his prime, young, hungry, right there, right? Explosive. So when you put that all together, it's a super mega fight. That's what it is. So like, you know, he can get mad or whatever. Yeah, I probably ask him questions up to your female or whatever it is and who he wants to fight next. And of course, he's going to say Mikey Garcia. But does Mikey really going to go down to 135? It's all for sure, man. And that's why I didn't watch the fight. That's why it was all bullshit. I don't believe anything this guy says. Uh, yeah, I could try to convince me it's a show like he's pound for pound, but man, I really don't, guys. I really don't. No fighter is like me. I ain't doing it like me. Without a belt, and I'm still up in the, I'm up in the charts. I'm not trying to be no type of hype. Ain't no hype though, cause I'm backing it up. I'm trying to fight the best of the best, but you guys don't know the back end of everything. These matchmakers are having trouble trying to find fighters for me. These guys that are Jose Pedraza, whatever it is, big names don't want to fight us. They don't want it. They do not want to fight us. So that's not my issue. That's not my fault. They just don't, they just know. When you see real, when you see a real fighter that's dangerous, that could be like, what if, they're not going to take it. Bob said that. But that's the only thing I probably would blame Floyd for, is that. No matter what Floyd did, he did great in the sport of boxing, but he hurt the business side of it because now all these guys are just like money, 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 you know? And let me choose and pick who I want to fight. So they say I'm cherry picking. I ain't, I'm not here like, oh, I want to fight this dude. I didn't pick that. Top rank just throws him right at me. They know I'm going to accept any fight. They had problems this time around to find an opponent. It took them probably like close to a month to find somebody finally. And that was this guy, Ed is Tappy. And that's just another that's just another victim that I'm gonna take out. Bob said that Loma's in his prime right now and he said that you're approaching your prime. Do you feel that you are I'm in your prime I'm right now? Prime. Hell no. I said my body's growing, obviously. Like that's the thing, like when Bob says and he'll do it, you know, because I said no, I don't know. My body, I'm not gonna, I've done that in the amateurs, in the idea you know, so I'm not gonna kill my body. I don't need the Lomachenko fight to make me who I am, to make me the best fighter in the world. But we want to build fights like this, obviously, to show that we didn't come out just like cherry picking anything. So we want those fights, but I said by the end of this year. You know, if I told Bob though, give me, a, give me the world title in July, and I'll push it to December, honestly, with me and Loma. So, I know what Bob has in mind, because I, I know my body, guys. I know where it's at right now. You guys, everybody always says it. I'm going to repeat it again. Everybody says, you're a big 135-pound man. Because it's true. I'm already almost at my, I'm at a thin line right now to shoot at 140. So I have to be real careful. I'm at 144 right now, so I got nine pounds to drop. And we fight next week. So, Fimo, have you sparred anyone that you can compare to Loma Rigan Diao had a little bit, and that was I was 16, and he was, you know, green. that was, yeah, I was 16, I'm about to be 22, so about six years ago. So the only guy that I could really kind of think of, but yeah, you know, has, has Loma fought anybody like me? No. So it's vice versa, it goes both ways, that's why people want to see this person. He can get mad all he wants, good, get mad. Yeah, man. That's why you had me to go in a different hotel because you didn't want to see me. With, with stuff like that, does that tell you anything? Does that yeah, kind of give man. like mental edge to you? Whether he's annoyed or anything like that, I don't care for it, guys. If anything, that's the shit he don't understand. Like, when it's all said and done, like, he's going to end up realizing he's going to need me. Because he wants to cash out, he's going to end up needing me. More than that, I don't need a Lomachenko fight to make me a super mega fight. It's all about next week, man. Fighting back home. One, two, three, and he doesn't even want to include you in that list. I, yeah. I would assume, I honestly thought you'd be upset about that. No, I'm not upset. <laughs> keep, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep saying those things. I'm not upset. So did you, did you after after all? Did you not see the fight, or did you see the no? Nah, I didn't see the fight. I saw the the clip at the end of him getting dropped, obviously, because um, they showed it, replayed, and everything. I didn't watch the fight. I didn't watch the fight. With what little of that was said um, after the fight, do you make do you feel that that fight between you and Lomachenko is even now a little bit more unlikely? Unlikely. Unlikely. Unlikely to happen. No, I feel like the fight could happen, man. That's if, you know, top rank pushes it, which they will, uh, in the sense of me having the world title. Loma doesn't want to mention me at all because there's no world title. He doesn't want to give Yada satisfaction of it. 
So, you know, um, if that's what it's going to take, yet you say that you'll fight Javante for free, like, it's crazy, man. So, um, I'm just, you know, honestly, right now, at this point now, is I'm just going to focus on what I have to do. And if the fight happens, we want it to happen, we want to make it happen, you guys want to make that, you guys want to see that type of fight happen, then hopefully they accept the fight. And he has a big fight next week, too. So yeah, so focus on that. our main focus, yeah, is April 20th, you know, um, at his Tatley. We just um, focus on that right now, one step at a time. Hey, shout out to Champs. This is Teofimo Lopez coming here. Uh, we at New Orleans Boxing Club. Uh, stay tuned, watch my fight. I'll be the co main event on ESPN. And uh, again, from Teofimo Lopez, shout out to Champs. Yo, Tio, no matter where you go, you get love, bro. Champs. Oh, yeah, man. Up, shout out to LA, man. Shout out to LA. We at the Staples Center, man. It's great. New York to LA, you get love. Hell yeah. Without your family, you gotta go outside.